Nairobi's skyline paints a picture that has come to be associated with business leadership in the East African economy. But while the country has held on despite continuous threats of economic slowdown in the face of costly credit and high costs of living, investors have been forced to make tough choices to avoid losses, among them where to invest, whether to cut borrowing and how much to hold in cash. We reduced our borrowings by 24% and to also reduce our exposure to the stock market. Analysts at Zimele Asset Managers say Centum's exit from the Nairobi Securities Exchange is testimony to the eroded confidence in the performance of the market, whose value had dropped by an estimated 30% in September before beginning a slow recovery. Centum's exit from the stock investments, however, shielded the company from further losses, enabling it to register a pre-tax profit of 828 million shillings. Going forward, the company plans to scale up its investment in real estate as it diversifies its portfolio. In particular, Centum is keen on development of commercial properties in Nairobi and Entebbe, Uganda, to be financed through dollar-denominated debt to avoid the pitfalls of a volatile exchange rate. And our investment in Uganda, which is denominated in dollars, uh, uh, recorded a uh, a reasonable appreciation in value. Since the beginning of the year, the economy has taken consistent beatings, first from runaway inflation and now from rising interest rates. But despite the challenging economic environment and what some investors have turned and stable monetary policy, there are still some opportunities to be taken advantage of. Wanjiro Gaido, Citizen Business.